Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown's office will host its first black women's health symposium. The goal is to address minority health gap in Ohio. Reporter Raven Richard has the details of the event. Gaps in minority health didn't just start, but Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown says the pandemic is a great revealer. Hamilton County commissioners declared racism as a public health crisis back in June, and Senator Brown's office wants to take action. For the next two Saturdays, September 26th and October 3rd, a free virtual workshop featuring health experts and community advocates will address the health of black women. This Saturday's session is from 9 to 11.30 a.m. We know the best ideas don't come out of Washington. They'll come from people all over the state to talk to us about these issues. Senator Brown and Renee Mahaffey Harris with the organization Closing the Health Gap discuss those issues during a phone conference on Wednesday afternoon. Our physical health, our mental health, our economic health, and our community's health. Those are the main factors, Harris says, add to black women having higher rates of mortality for maternal health, breast cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Harris says black women are three times more likely to die from maternal issues than white women. She says she knows those numbers won't change overnight. This symposium is the beginning of conversation and dialogue around many expertise across the state. Women will be able to share ideas, concerns, and areas they'd like to focus on for better health for black women. Senator Brown's office has worked on the subject of black women's health since last year. He says it's very timely for this symposium to happen now because of the attention the issue is getting. I also talked to a University of Cincinnati health doctor about how these issues affect the community as a whole. I'll have that story coming up at 6 and also to find more information on how to sign up for this symposium, go to our website WCPO.com and find this story. In Cincinnati, Raven Richard, WCPO 9 News.